Honor Club, where honor is real. Hey, how does it feel to be a building that doesn't sell alcohol? How's that working out for you? Huh? Y'all doing okay that you can't get drunk?
think we've heard enough from him already. What possibly could he say? Well, CM Punk, his hatred for Raven's whole extreme revolution. I mean, it really showed just now when he was even picking on Danny Doran, who just came here to watch a show, of course, Doran, a former ECW tag team champion. I don't know what that was all about. Well, Punk just hates everything having to do with that extreme movement with the generation that he believes that Raven led down a path of debauchery. need for the dog collar. We can have, we can have here with your street fights. Street fight? What's he talking about? I don't think... Is he trying to back out of this? I think that CM Punk does not want to be in any kind of situation where he's attached, attached to Raven. It's called for a bunkhouse match. I, he just does not want to be in a position where he can't escape, where he can't run away. And when he's attached to Raven with that dog collar, there's nothing but unforgiving chain between you, and you're not going anywhere. I mean, I don't blame him, but he started this, Chris. He's the one who tried to choke out Raven and wrestle Raven. He tried to kill him there. CM Punk, so many issues for this young man. He thinks he's some type of leader, some type of martyr for this straight-edge revolution, for, the, for this generation of youth who are drug free and alcohol free who think they're better than you and that all stems from CM Punk his childhood where he grew up with an alcoholic abusive father and, and Raven represents his father to him Raven a man who's had it all handed to him a man with a rich background a man who really lost his life almost to drugs and alcohol since that time Raven has cleaned up he, he went to AA he did what he had to do to get clean he went to rehab but Raven is a man who, who CM Punk sees, like his father, pissed it all away for drugs and debauchery, and CM Punk now taking out all that hatred he has for his father on Raven. You know, this feud, as CM Punk, they're already trying to escape. And that's not going to happen. Raven pulling him in using that chain. You would think Punk would know better, but, but there's no running for Raven in this kind of match. And Punk takes the chain right off the bat. That's unforgiving steal right to the head of CM Punk. And it's starting out hot and heavy already, Chris. This feud, it started out innocently enough. CM Punk simply challenging Raven to a match back last March. Actually, we saw the promos on the first anniversary show tape in February, saying an athlete like Raven doesn't belong here in Ring of Honor. But there are so many deep-seated issues in this one, and they've all come to the surface in this feud. And now it's going to get settled as, C as Raven whipping CM Punk with that chain and now choking him out with it. And he's trying to choke the life out of Punk right here at death before dishonor. And CM Punk is in a lot of trouble early here. And we've talked about the code of honor. We've talked about when the code of honor is not necessary. This is one of those times. This match, you know, Raven does want to win. He has yet to defeat CM Punk. CM Punk has defeated him on numerous occasions. But this match is about pure hatred. This match is about one man trying to hurt the other. This match is about one athlete trying to end the other man's career. And that's what we're witnessing right here is CM Punk and Raven putting it all on the line, attached by a steel chain. It's thick, it's heavy, it's rusted, and CM Punk just got crushed with it. I'll tell you what, Chris, this is a blood feud if there ever was one. As both these guys on the floor, and Raven, a Russian leg sweep into the rails right there. What a painful maneuver. And CM Punk, he's down. And you know, Raven, he has to be enjoying this. And he's busted open as well. The Crimson is flowing in New Jersey as CM Punk sent into that unforgiving steel barricade. Raven just battering CM Punk all over the ringside area. CM Punk not having any kind of a shot so far as Raven is absolutely destroying him. And the sadistic Raven will continue to administer the pain. Raven, he said that he made a mistake when he came to Ring of Honor. He said he was happy, he was in a good mood, but now CM Punk has changed things. This is a this is a morose Raven that we knew so well, know so well from the past, and he is here to give pain and punishment oh. to CM Punk, and he does that with the ring bell. What a vicious maneuver there by Raven, knocking that ring bell into the already busted open forehead of CM Punk, and the clarin is flowing as Ravens reorganized in ringside with the table and chairs. And Punk, he can't escape. 
is he's in a lot of trouble, and Raven's got that chain again, and he's choking him. Just like Punk did to Raven three weeks ago, and this is why Punk did not want to be attached to Raven. He wants to be able to escape. He wants to be able to take a breather, because CM Punk, he's always thinking of the mind games. He's always thinking one step ahead, but since you're attached to, to your opponent with a steel chain, there's just nowhere to go, nowhere to hide, no time to take a breather, as CM, uh, CM Punk continues to get battered by Raven. And this is a pure ass kick, and CM Punk is taken right here. As Raven just, you think he's happy with something like this? I mean, after what he's gone through? Raven is definitely enjoying himself right now as he's taking the young Punk, well, Punk for lack of a better word, that's what CM Punk is, and he is battering him now with a chair, with the chain, with the steel barricade, using it all. CM Punk busted open, bleeding all over the place and Raven's taking it right to him and he knows he's having the time of his life right now. CM Punk trying to build his name at Raven's expense and Raven's saying that's not gonna happen. But so far, Raven has been unable to defeat CM Punk. Can he finally do it right here tonight? And Raven with the basic fist right to the bloody forehead of CM Punk, trying to open up that cut even more right here. And Raven, he's taking no liberties here. He's gonna unleash all his offense here in Elizabeth at death before dishonor. This is the final chapter of this legendary Ring of Honor feud. Raven now setting up that table, and these men know this is the one the fans are always going to remember. That's why I have to win it, and Punk finally gets his first offense in with a low blow on Raven. The fans are booing here, but the code of honor is waved in this one. This is a blood feud, so perfectly legal what CM Punk is doing as all the rules are thrown out of the window in this fight. Anything goes in this one, Ray, as there's a Mr. Wrestling 2 knee lift. And I think he might have had a little assistance of the chain there as the chain might have caught him in the face as well. And it looks like CM Punk was checking to see if he got some of his teeth knocked out there, Chris. You know Raven would love to knock him out if he gets the opportunity. Raven, though, has something more diabolical in mind as he sets up that table in the corner. I have a feeling CM Punk's about to taste the wood. And Raven right here, slowly but methodically destroying CM Punk as he gets reversed through the table. Wow, that was a last dish maneuver there by Punk, but that might have saved him. CM Punk saving himself, but a huge momentum changer in the process. Raven is hurting, look at that. CM Punk is busted open though, but CM Punk now has the advantage. Let's see if he can follow up. You know CM Punk, he's got all that hatred. He's got that rebel in him. It's just stirring up and he's gonna unleash it all on Raven. And, and who does a CM Punk think he is? He thinks he's some leader of some straight edge revolution or something? Who does this guy think that he is? I don't know what's going through the mind of CM Punk, but he just lowered the knee there. And I think he's gonna try to maybe work on that midsection. He should because Raven was clinching it and Raven still might be, be hurting from three weeks ago after he got beat up with the chain on the midsection, he got choked out. Raven might have some injuries coming into this match as well. If he wasn't hurting three weeks ago, he's definitely hurting after that knee to the face with the chain wrapped around the knee as Raven tasting the steel chain for the first time. And now kick to the back of the head. Raven now on the floor. He's in a precarious position as he's wrapped up in the chain. That can't be good for Raven. CM Punk with a definite advantage in this one as he is taking it to Raven. CM Punk already busted open. He has already withstood the punishment dished out by Raven, and now he's dishing it out on his own. He's unleashing that anger. He's taking it all out on Raven, that childhood that he's had. His father, the fact that he looks down on you if you're drinking a beer or smoking a bowl and enjoying this match right now. CM Punk thinks that you're scum for that. It's like he thinks Raven is scum, and that's why he's battering that lacerated forehead of Raven trying to open up that cut. That's right, Raven lacerated as well here in this matchup. And Punk, wow, oh, put him into the rails right there. A vicious maneuver by CM Punk. And Raven feeling it, feeling the steal from the chain, feeling the steal from the outside. And here comes another rip as Raven's down. And look at the punishment on the face of Raven right here as these guys are battling for their lives, for, for their lives. How much punishment can the veteran Raven take? There's been a lot of bumps taken on that body over the years. He might not have too many left, and CM Punk's trying to get the last ones out of him right here as he dishes out more and more punishment, hoping that Raven cannot continue in this dog collar match. Punk now has another idea. Dumps Raven up and over and into the crowd, and hey, it's all good here. Normally, 
There's no count outs, but something like that might warrant a disqualification. But anything goes in this one. That's right, Punk has the advantage. I don't know if it's wise for, for him to throw Raven out in the crowd. That's his territory. That's where he's most comfortable. And, oh, wow, Re Raven reversed and Punk went right into the rails. Raven making good use of that dog collar, showing that he is a veteran, pulling on that chain, pulling Raven, uh, excuse me, Punk right into the guardrail, and now Punk is out and over. And he's unleashing those right hands right into the bloody forehead of Raven, and oh, uh-oh. Look out. Raven into the light standard. And that's breaking down here in Elizabeth. Is there in the crowd now? And then arm drag through the chairs, a hip toss, excuse me. And Santa Punk has Raven at a disadvantage right here as he's taking the battle right to Raven. And now he's trying to choke the life out of him with that chair. And look at the crowd we have here in Elizabeth. ROH is most people ever to see an ROH show, and they're loving it as, they have a, as they're watching a bloodbath right here. You can feel the intensity. You can feel the hatred between these two as they try to end each other's careers. Draven trying to get that elusive victory over Punk, trying to teach the young Punk a lesson and trying to give him the beating that, that has escaped him so far. CM Punk trying to show that he's better than Raven, trying to show that he's better than Raven's revolution, trying to show that he's better than Raven's generation as Raven takes it right back into the ringside area. And CM Punk now at a disadvantage as Raven's capitalizing on the mistakes of CM Punk. And Punk now into the rail. Raven returning to favor. And this is just a fight, Chris. A fight is right, and that's what happens when two men hate each other as much as CM Punk and Raven do. As right now, it's Raven taking it right into his playground, into the crowd, CM Punk into the front row. And these guys are battling throughout the Rex Plex right here. And Raven with a well-placed boot to the bloody head of CM Punk, and knocks him through the chairs and Punk is down. These two men want to settle it all right here tonight at the first annual Death Before Dishonor. It's matches like this that make this such a huge event. Raven now taking Punk all over the Rexplex. And this is where Raven is at his best. This is when he's an expert. This is when he's in the crowd, when he's battling under hardcore rules. And Raven now setting a fan up with a chair. I guess it's a fan participation night. I guess so. Well, these fans are solidly behind Raven here in this matchup. And Ray, and Sam Punk, excuse me, takes the chair with the assistance of a fan. And the crowd's loving it. And these guys now are going into the other sections. They're going on the other side of the crowd. Raven pulling CM Punk by the hair, taking him, letting all the fans get a front row seat for this one, holding up another one. Not only does that fan get the front row seat, he gets to hold the seat as CM Punk gets battered right into it. And CM Punk is in a world of trouble here as Raven is at a great advantage right here. Looks like he might be enjoying himself now a little bit as well, Chris. Well, Raven's at his happiest when he's at his most miserable, and this feud has made him nothing but miserable. As right now, Raven climbing up, taking a moment to perhaps celebrate. Yes, indeed. And then you see the crowd going, oh! What was that? He just dragged him down. Down the bleachers, Chris. CM Punk learning a lesson from earlier in the match, grabbing that chain and pulling Raven off of the bleachers. Raven relaxing for a minute, enjoying himself for a minute. CM Punk taking full advantage of the situation. Raven taking a nasty fall down the bleachers, and CM Punk now stamping away right at Raven. What a mistake by Raven. This could be CM Punk's opportunity as he's, he's, he's whipping him with the chain on the floor. And that's not any kind of small chain, that's a big, heavy chain. And CM Punk unleashing it right on the Raven, right into the midsection, right onto the ribs. And these guys battling through the crowd once again. And CM Punk, he's got a, he's got a garbage can. As these guys are blowing throughout the building. Nothing's off limits in this one. I don't think I've ever seen a feud boil to this level as we've seen the feud of Raven and CM Punk totally explode here. This is definitely one of the top feuds in Ring of Honor history, if not the top feud, and one that will go down in the record books for its violence, for its hatred, and for what these men are willing to do to each other to prove that they're the better man. As right now, we finally get back into the ring.
game. CM Punk with the advantage over Raven. A whip into the ropes. And he elbows Raven right in the throat, but that might have hurt Punk as well, as both these guys are down. I think the chain accidentally got between the elbow and Raven, I and, and Punk hurt his, his arm on the chain, but at the same time, that chain was pressed hard into the chest of Raven. And now CM Punk, he's got the microphone, and he just delivered a one place knee to the face. Whipping Raven. Another vicious strike there by CM Punk. I can't believe what we're seeing here, Chris. And now CM Punk setting up for a vertical suplex. Guess we're getting a wrestling move in this one. Why not? These guys want to do anything to annihilate each other. CM Punk coming in, stepping in Zaguri. Raven's down. Nicely executed to Raven. Pinfall wins this one. On, Both these men going for the pinfall. Of course, a tap out wins it too. And Punk again with the mic. Yeah, hasn't this guy had the mic enough tonight? What's he gonna say? He's drugging out all three again? He's just taunting Raven. Oh, crotched him with the chain. CM Punk's enjoying himself right now. He knows he has the advantage. He is just taunting Raven, taunting his hated enemy. Oh, and Raven pulled that chain, and the chain was behind Punk's leg. That just took him off of the top turnbuckle. What a smart maneuver there by Raven as CM Punk is joining with the fans, but he's paying the price right now. He's still got the mic. Flamingo! Flamingo. That's heat. Raven fighting back! Another punch! Raven fighting! Another one! Raven unloading now, Punk! Disc is clothesline! And we might have a second or third win here by Raven! Raven's not gonna let the young Punk get to him! Raven's not gonna let Sam Punk show that he's a better man! He's not gonna let Punk show that his revolution is better than Raven's! And Raven taking it to Punk with a series of clotheslines now! And Raven! He's in full effect right here on CM Punk! As Punk is down! And a fan solidly behind Raven right here. Yeah. Raven whipping Punk in. Punk out. Another clothesline by Raven. The veteran taking it to the upcoming superstar with the Mr. Wrestling 2 knee lift cover. No, not enough. He's hit him with everything, but I think he's got to hit him with that Raven effect, Chris, if he wants victory. Owen wants to do that, too. There's nothing he'd like more than to hit him with that Raven effect, DDT, and pin CM Punk, one, two, three, finish his feud, win the feud, and then banish CM Punk forever. He's got the chair set up now. Whipping him in. Drop to hold on the chair. Trademark Raven move, cover! No, not enough, even with the hook of the leg. Where are these guys getting all this energy, Chris? They have taken an unbelievable amount of punishment here. Well, it's pride that, that they're getting this energy from. They hate each other so much that they're not willing to let their opponents go and say, hey, I'm the better man. It's that hatred that's driving them. Oh, look at that, that's just insulting. Spinning right in the face of CM Punk. And Raven has that chair once again. Let's see what he's gonna come up with here. Maybe a chair shot heard around the world. It's possible. He's gonna finish off CM Punk right here, right now. Oh! Punk it moves, Raven hits referee Paul Turner. Turner is out, he took that chair flush on the head. Oh! oh! Innovative use of the chain by Raven. That could have snapped his neck. And he's got him! Raven effect! He's got the Raven effect, he hit it! That's it! The fans counting, but the referee is out! 
Paul Turner's down. It's Cole Cabana, Paul, second city state member, Cole Cabana. Oh, low blow on Raven. I can't believe we're getting interference in this. And a DDT as well. Cole Cabana, CM Punk's tag team partner, second city state member, coming in, making the difference in this match. Give me a break. Oh. This is just terrible. I can't believe we're seeing this. And wait a second. Danny Dorian out of the cloud. And he's coming to the aid of Raven as he's wiped up Cole Cabana right here. But Danny Dorian is not forgetting what CM Punk said to him and about him before this match. And he is now taking it to Cole Cabana, helping Raven out. The Extreme Revolution is beating up the Second City Saints. Straight edge revolution right now. But Punk with a cover.
here 